everybody Kat from Creative Crafts here and today's um, video is going to be all about recycling jeans. I did make a video um, how to recycle jeans a long time ago and I made a huge pillow cover for a, um, a you could say a Wiccan chair, a Wicca chair that's um, it was old and it, I needed a new cover and I said I had so many jeans that didn't fit anymore. So I decided to cut my jeans up, but the video is already made on how I did this. But right now I'm just going to tell you quickly how I did it is what I did is I just cut my jeans in all different sizes and made a pattern. It's like if you do on a quilting, not exactly a quilting, but how people do quilting. And um, then I sewed them all together piece by piece, strips. And then after the strips I made, I sewed those strips together and I made it into one big material. I'll show you with that in a second. So as you can see here, this is what I did. I, I'm sewing them all together and then later I will make a closed sewing. You know, you close it completely up so that it's nice and neat. And when you're done with that, what you do is I'm sewing it all together, making like one big piece. And when I'm done with that, then I'm going to take my pillows and lay it like, like you want it. You can measure the pillows and use your, you know, um, measuring stick if you want or measuring tape, not stick, tape. And then you can do that. But I, I do it the lazy way. I take the pillow that I want, the size I want, and I take the pillow, put it on top of the material, wrap it. And then I usually make a couple of extra inches you know, maybe an inch more than I normally should use because when you sew, you're going to need that anyway when you close it up. But when I start sewing that pillowcase, <clears throat> we'll get to that next step and I will show you how I did that. And let me remind you, I'm recycling the jeans. I'm recycling them again because I already made this huge long um, cushion cover for one of these things you can lay down on. I made that for that. So now I'm recycling this again and making it into pillowcases for my bedroom. So as you can see here, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I took my pillow and I'm wrapping it now to see this is the top and to see exactly the size. I made it a little bit bigger on the bottom because when I sew it, I want to have a flap on the inside. So that when um, I put the pillow in, the flap folds underneath, that folds inside the flap, the pillow. And it'll stay in there. You won't see any ends of it. And like you say, see here, I cut it here too. So I can sew it together there. And I'm cutting down on the end here. I'm, like I said, I'm leaving it about an inch no? over the pillow on both sides. So when I sew it, that it's not so hard to get the pillow inside. That's still not too big, but it'll probably fit perfect. So let me finish cutting this, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna do this flap so the pillow doesn't come out on the end of the pillow. So what I'm gonna do now is only one side is gonna have the longer piece strip of the material, only one end. So what I'm going to do now is um, flap this over, and I'm gonna cut the bottom part and then here so there's only one side with the flap now I'll let you see I'll show you when I'm done cutting so everybody this is what I'm talking about this here it has you know only on one side of the material I have made that flap and now I have to sew the pillow together which when I do sew this together I'm not swinging in this direction because I have to fold, normally when you sew, you have to sew when everything's inside out so you don't see the sewing. So what I'm gonna do now is take my pillow and fold everything in half. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. And this is what I'm talking about. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this flap because this is right at the end where the material is really nice. So now I'm gonna flap this, make sure, I mean, if you want, you can iron it before you sew it. And then I'm going to sew these two ends on the side, here and here first. And then I can um, fold this up 
and so this end here i keep moving the camera in a place where it doesn't belong fold, fold this here or cut it straight and then i will i sew it straight and then i'm going to sew the whole thing um closed from this side and to the other end this end not because that's where you're going to put the pillow in of course and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so let me get all this done and then i will show you if you have any questions please write on the comments below if you didn't understand anything i said on how i did this and i'll get back to you as soon as i can so everybody this is what i was talking about when you make a pillowcase and you put the pillow in you have this problem unless you add a zipper to it you can do that but now watch what i did when i made the flap on the inside here watch what i do the pillow is no longer visible i will definitely do something here maybe put a tie or something she can tie it smaller we will see what we'll do here but um this is what i'm talking about you put the flap on the inside um i made the pillowcase a little too big i should go in and go over it one more time on the inside so that it can be just a tad smaller so and then i have a little bit of a tight snug you know fit so i'm going to do that and then i'll show you the actual finished via um, diy so everybody here I, I made it a little bit smaller now and actually it looks better what i'm going to do is I'm going to um, take my glue gun and glue this part here on the inside a little bit in more so that you don't see the, you know, the sewing part so well. And once I glue it with the glue gun, it'll stick really well. Glue gun sticks well to material. But this is what, I, this is what I'm saying. I love this part here where you can hide it so, you know, you know when you move things around, the pillow doesn't start sticking out all the time. This is the perfect thing. So there you go. Making your own pillowcase out of jeans. Recycle, like I always say. So everybody, here is the finished DIY. And I think it looks good. It doesn't look good with the pillows that are there because they're colorful ones, which will be changed. I will make some covers for those today too. I will make some um, from uh, satin curtains that I have, blue ones really dark blue ones and i'm gonna cover those make some pillow um you know pillow covers with that you can make pillow covers out of anything old sheets curtains anything as long as you know how if you have a sewing you can even sew by hand if you want i mean i'm not a professional sewer so i just know the um i did home at home home on home economics i can't speak in the, in the states so when i was growing up so i know how the basics of sewing and um that's why i always reuse and all my old clothes i find something to sew t-shirts old t-shirts you can make into a pillowcase if you want like with well, this one the one behind me the the one not behind me behind the the pillow we just made the pink and the green ones I'm going to make new covers for those too I have four of them two pink and two green and I have two of the pillows in the kitchen so I can sew some new pillowcases for it because I have so much leftover bed sheets and curtains I said you know I know I'm never going to use them again so what I'm going to do is yeah reuse them recycle that's that's the best thing to do is recycle if you want something new Recycle something that you have in your closets for years and you never used. And that way you can make everything new. So, hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So, everybody, yeah, this is the last end of this video. I just wanted to show you exactly what I did. the With the many different colored blues and maybe a light green turquoise in it. Those used to be um, I, these pillowcases for duvets. And I just cut that thing in half and sewed one side up. And I have a pillowcase for my deco pillows. And like I said, I did it with my satin uh, curtains in the back, the dark blue ones. I made those too. And I said, you can make curtains out of everything, like I said. So I hope you enjoyed it.